Hello everyone and welcome to Paper Pleats and Ribbon Roses. Today I'd like to take a few moments to show you how I made these little um, cardstock roses on this card. Uh, they sort of look like your prima fairy tale roses and um, I just made them using the uh, Cricut Art Philosophy cartridge from close, exclusive to close to my heart um, and I'm also going to show you how you can make them using a punch. Now I will say before I get started that I did not design these flowers. Um, I went to YouTube and uh, typed in Prima Fairy Tale Roses and um, with that I ended up uh, seeing a number of different tutorials. Now most of the tutorials use a punch from EK Success and um, I do have a half inch punch, but I wanted to try making them using um, an image from the Cricut Art Philosophy cartridge. So that is what I did, and I'm just going to show you how I did that. Um, before you get started, before I start with that though, I just want to show you the different sizes that I've made. I hope you can see this. I've changed the angle of my camera, so I'm not really sure if everything's going to be exactly where it's supposed to be. So we'll give it a try. So the, the smallest one that I've made um, here, um, I used a half inch image, um, a half inch image for the flower petals. And um, in this book, it's um, the flower number eight, found on page 50. All right. So I cut out four of those for each of the flowers at a half an inch. And I cut, I cut out um, a star, star number five, which is right here, star number five on page 40. And excuse me, I cut, you have to cut the back, um, back of the flower or this, the petals, um, a quarter of an inch wider or larger than you cut the flower itself. So for a roughly half inch little rose, you cut your flower number eight at half an inch and you cut your star number five at three quarters of an inch. The same thing here. Um, this particular rose here was, uh, I started out with a three quarter inch petals um, or flowers. So flower number eight at cut at three quarters of an inch and star number five cut at one inch. And the largest that I've done with this particular style um, is using a one inch flower of flower number eight and a one and a quarter inch star for the uh, petals. So you always do your uh, petals or your leaves um, a quarter of an inch larger than you make your starting out petal or flowers. Now these flowers turn out to be roughly, very slightly smaller than the, the flower that size that you start out with. And I just wanted to show you um, a Prima fairy tale rose. Um, and um, you can see that, you know, we do, it does quite a nice job. Um, the, the beauty of it is you can make them whenever you need them and, um, and make them in whatever color that you want. So we'll just brush this aside for a moment. And um, what I also wanted to show you quickly was um, the other videos that I saw um, used this EK Success uh, punch. This is a half inch flower. Hopefully you can see that. Um, the difference between this image and the one that I'm using from the Cricut cartridges is that um, these petals go in much deeper towards the center, whereas the um, petals from the Cricut cartridge are, um, I'm just going to show you one here. Hopefully I'm getting this in the right position. Um, this is the EK Success Punch and these are the petal or the flowers that I'm using from the Cricut cartridge. And you can see there's a fair difference. Um, these petals don't cut in quite as deep here and they're also sort of double. Um, so that makes it slightly different in how um, you put it together. So put that aside. So basically for the half inch and the three quarter inch, you need to cut four um, of the flower shapes. Now, as I mentioned to you before, because the um, um, 
petals don't go quite as deep you're just going to take your scissors and you're just going to snip in ever so slightly just be careful you don't snip your petals right off um, each of the four petals you're going to make or each of the four flowers you're going to cut the petals in a little deeper uh, than they are so we'll just do that quickly here again be careful that you don't clip in too far and the petals come right off I was making these at a crop on the weekend and I enjoy making them. They're very relaxing and, and um, they are a little time consuming. And people are giving me a hard time that I could go to the store and buy them, which is true. However, I do live in a small community and it's about an hour's drive to the city. So we can't always find the things that we want. So we make them. All right. So you take your four petals and you cut them the, them in a little deeper along each of the petals. Now I'm going to turn my craft mat over. This is the close to my heart craft mat and on the back side is foam and we're going to use this foam to help mold the shape of these uh, petals somewhat. Now the foam isn't that thick. Um, I, you don't want to use a foam like this um, which is from my piercing tool. It's a little too um, soft and you might um, ruin some of your paper with that. So let's get started. Now the first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to take two of these and take each petal on the flower and fold it up um, around. I'm just using a very fine tipped pair of tweezers. You could probably do it with the end of your piercing tool or whatever you have that makes you just want to fold these um, petals up somewhat like that and we're going to do that to two of them and these are going to form the center of the rose and this is basically the key that I, I think to making this rose look realistic is um, that you get this very center of it nice and tight which this image makes it a little more difficult than the punched image all right so two of them you fold up each of the petals using um, whatever tool works for you and then on the other two I'm just taking my piercing tool and I'm um, just going to fold down or not fold but curl down the edges of each of the petals on those two flowers all right. Oh, good one. All right, Oops. I tore one of the petals, so we're going to cut another one. Uh, I probably trimmed my um, petals a little too deep there, and that's why I lost one. All right, hopefully that doesn't happen again. Okay. So now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to shape these somewhat and you're going to use the end. I'm using just the end of paintbrushes and I have different sizes here because um, you use different size um, um, ends based on the size of the flower. Now you see the ends of my paintbrushes are rounded and that's what you want. You're going to look for a pen or a paintbrush or something that has a nice um, rounded end on it. Now this very uh, first one here is the smallest one and I use these for that one for the half inch. Um, this one's too large and this one actually works out quite well for this. So I'm going to take each of these and I'm going to, now hopefully you can see this, um, take the end of my uh, paintbrush and I'm going to push it in and turn and twist around and as you can see, my little flower um, is twisting as I do this. And I'm, I'm just sort of pressing into the center of the flower. And what you're doing is you're pushing the fibers of the paper and molding it to the shape of the end of the uh, paintbrush. And it's a very gentle action and it, and it stays that way. So I'm going to do that again to the other uh, pieces of the flower. 
Okay, now these, the two outer petals, you see we, we folded uh, the ends over. We curled the ends over, so now we're going to do the same thing in the center. Now I'm hoping that I changed the, the angle of my camera so that you could see this, because normally my hand is in the way. So I'm hoping that this is working out. Oh, and I'm also moving the table. Okay. I usually have my camera standing on a on the floor, but it's on the table now. Okay. So that takes care of that. Now you're going to use a fast drying glue. I just happen to have Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive. Doesn't really matter what you use. And this is a, the point. Um, you're going to put a dab of glue in the center, but you're going to push it up the sides of the petals on the inside here because you really want this center piece to sort of stick together. So you're just going to slowly bring up all the petals and you can offset them like, you know, skip one and come back and pull that one up after. Basically what you want to do is form a nice little tight um, center for the flower and then just push on the end to make it kind of flat, the opposite end. All right, so I don't know if you can see that. Um, that's it for that one. Then you're going to put some glue in the second one where you folded all the petals up. And again, you're gonna push the glue partway up the petals because you want them to sort of hold together in the center. All right. So you just put that in and again you start folding up petals like that. Okay. And now we're going to put some glue here. Just sort of push up a little bit. And the final one. Now when you get to the final one, try to offset the, the petals. So the petals from the third one that you put on are in between the petals of the last one. Okay. I'm not sure where to move my hands so that you can see this. All right, that's pretty close to what I would want. Um, now the other thing you're going to do then as well is you're going to take your um, your flower backing, and I I usually um, curl these up a little. You can also add a little bit of ink to the outside edges um, if you want, and put a little bit of glue. Flower. And there you go. There's your knockoff Prima Fairy Tale Rose. And um, I'll just show you the difference between. I mean, there is a difference, but I think they're actually quite nice. I'm going to see if this will show. Hopefully, it's focusing for you. So here's the one that I made, and here's the Prima Fairy Tale Rose. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you have fun uh, making some of these flowers. Until next time, thanks again.